So I ordered 100 um, used Australian stamps off of eBay. So for that, that was uh, $3.95 and $1.50 shipping, so $5.45 AUD. Um, and this is what we got. I've ordered them here in reverse chronological order, so we got the um, old, oldest at the bottom and the newest on top, so the newest is from, sorry about my squeaky chair, <laughs> um, the newest is from, uh, from 93, you can see here. Um, and yeah, so the range is from 1967 to 1993. And most of these are like super duper common, not super valuable from about um, between like, between like a cent and 50 cents, like nothing super duper exciting, but I'm not, I don't collect for the um, cash value, there's a nice pair here, you can see Sydney Harbour Bridge, um, yeah, and I'm only just starting my collection, so it's, it's good to get um, some, like, lower value ones just to start off. And, yeah, so I'm collecting more for the, uh, aesthetics. Like, I, as an art student, I'm very interested in, like, fun-looking stamps. And, um, I'm also really into history and geography, and I think stamps is a really good way to explore that. And a very, it's a very calming, relaxing sort of... Hobby, some Christmas stamps here. Um, and yeah, I'm just getting back into it. I is an adorable kitten. I did collect stamps for a bit as a kid. I was like six or seven, <clears throat> and it's kind of funny because that was actually in the uh, a different pandemic. Uh, swine flu. I was in like grade two and um, I went to a party and um, at that party was the, f the first people to, uh, whoops, to bring swine flu into Australia. So I had to be quarantined for like three weeks and um, by like day two my parents had run out of stuff to keep me entertained so my dad bought me some stamp lots from the post office and I got really into it and like organized them by color and stuff and um, unfortunately I had to we moved when I was like I don't know 10 and I, I couldn't keep uh, my stamp collection I don't know for whatever reason I, I kind of lost interest in it a bit but I've, I've really uh recently just wanted to pick it back up and have some fun with it again um in the latest global health crisis hooray <laughs> um this was uh actually a cancellation you can see preston there that's my um old hometown where i started this stamp collecting all those years ago um, you can see another Preston cancellation. This is a joint issue with the USSR, which is pretty cool. Um, it's Antarctica. Whoops. Got some Anzac stamps here. So yeah, I thought I'd just share this. Oh my goodness. I, my stamp handling skills are not great. I'm, I'm trying my best. 
like you can see me in my tweens of reflection. That's fun. Uh, that's a cute little possum. Um, it's fun because I, I like vaguely remember some stamps. Sorry, can't the light. There we go. Um, some stamps that I had in that initial collection, also not very high value, but there's flower stamps, super common, um, but I definitely had some of those. Uh, now, uh, 1990, uh, some wattle, um, some Christmas stamps. I'm not super interested in Christmas stamps. I don't know, I'm, I'm more into like, planes and, whoops, I got two there, planes and spacecraft and, um, like, machinery and technology and graphic design and, whoops, get to see just how clumsy I am. Some fun sheep. But yeah, I think this is a good lot to get me started. I I mean, this is basically all the stamps I have at the moment, because I only just started collecting again. I, I soaked a few off of some envelopes I had kicking around, but um, I didn't really look up how to soak. I just sort of remembered what my seven-year-old self did. Oh, sorry, Liz. Um... And so I kind of ended up damaging the rest of them, but that's all right. They were all from like 2012 and they weren't that uh, valuable or anything. But I have since investigated how to properly do it. There's some kids playing with a shrimp or a uh, yabby. It's probably them. Or a prawn. No, that's, that's a yabby. Or a lobster or something. This one's called Bionic Ear. Um, yeah, but I've researched how to properly soak them, so I know how to do that now. Um, we have a yacht. That's cool. Australia made. Uh, these are some Australia Day stamps. Don't love Australia Day stamps, because I don't love Australia Day. Uh... But some of them are kind of cool looking, I guess. Alright. Oh my goodness. These tweezers are like <laughs> very old and rusty. And I just found them in a cupboard and I don't, I don't know if they're actually all that good for the stamps. But look, I'm trying my best, you guys. Got some brumbies here. That's kind of fun. Um, Haley's Comet. Hundred and fiftieth anniversary of South Australia. I got two of this set. There's a nice ship. I do love a good ship. Um, we got a satellite. Spacecraft and stuff is really cool too. Oops. Can we? Uh, there you go. Thirty-three cent. Another 33 cent here. It's a nice big square one. I remember loving the um, triangular ones and the, the diamond ones because they were so weird and different. And I'd never really seen them before. Um, like Mongolian stamps, there were some really cool triangular space like satellite stuff from Mongolia that I remember having. Um, so it would be fun to, like, find, I mean, obviously I have no record of what I had, but I've been looking through, like, catalogs and stuff just to have a browse, and I've seen a few things that have, like, um, that I just recognize that I haven't thought about for years, like these images, um, because I did spend a lot of time just sort of staring at them and reorganizing them, and was a really good time. Queen again. 
both are not super interested in stamps of the queen as i said i'm 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 into cool looking pictures of like sperm whales um and like i understand that the the older stamps like predecimal or a lot of them are of um monarchs but I don't know, that just doesn't interest me all that much. Some fun shiny mushrooms. This is the flag of Queen Elizabeth. Um, 1979 Christmas. I do like the um, sort of 60s and 70s stamps. They have some pretty cool designs. Um, there's a, uh, a boat. Another Christmas one, 78. This one's nice. It's a flame tree. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, let me know if you're a, a stamp collector of any type. Some violinists. And if Sir, what what do you collect? Do you collect like a country or a theme? I'm thinking about maybe collecting rainbow stamps <laughs> um, as a thematic thing. Um, just thought that'd be fun. Also, maybe like vehicles, like ships and planes, because I love theirs too. Sydney Opera House, seven cent. Now we're getting to the early 70s, late 60s, I think. Pioneer Shelter. That was worth a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean like 50 cents. Um, just because it's got a higher face value than more stamps from this sort of era. That one's fun. Um, this one I really love, actually. Whoops. 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 Uh, this is a uh, Royal Australian Air Force stamp. Some sick looking planes on it. Uh, and this design here is quite cool. Uh, stock exchange. Oh my goodness. I think I need to get like legit stamp tweezers. These aren't really doing it for me. Or I need to practice. That that might be a factor to her. United Nations 1970. Um, this is a pretty sweet design. I like these sort of simpler 60s designs, I'm really into. I don't know why. Um, but they're quite cool. This is a... Um, International Ports Hub and Harbors Conference, Australia. Uh, Lions Club. Pretty cool. And then finally, this one, which I really like actually. It's a nice green and it's got some fun keys and stuff. And that's from 67. So that, there's uh, the 100 stamps that I received in the mail. Um, to start off my stamp collection, I'm pretty happy with, with them. There's not, like, a huge variety or anything super valuable or anything, like, ridiculously cool, but I think it's a good, it's a good place to start, so, um, let me know if you're into stamps or whatever. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. See you later.